the octonauts and the crawfish. Thanks again, and see you later. Bye-bye. That gator was the last swamp creature that needed our help today. Time for us to head back home. <gasps> Paiso, Shellington, look at this. There are all sorts of holes in the swamp floor. Hmm, those holes look like crawfish burrows. They dig them with their claws. It's like a little village. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Flappity flippers, what are they doing? Oh boy, our shells is itchy. We use any pin we can to scratch these itches. Let me see if I can help. Oh. Oh. Their shells are covered in spots. What do you make of it, Peso? I've heard of this. It's called shell rot, but I've never seen cases this bad before. Someone must have made everybody else sick. Have any of you recently travelled outside your village? No way, no how. We stay put. It's safer for us that way. Did any strangers recently come through your village? Well, now that you mention it, there was a stranger what come true a few days back. Was right after that, folks started getting the spots and all sick-like. Do you remember what he looked like? Mmm, he was a strange-looking feller. Strange-looking in what way? Oh, lots of ways, I suspect. I didn't pay much, never mind. Truth told, the swamp was so muddy that day, couldn't hardly see my claw in front of me. Plus, I was just falling off into my nap. Oh, I can't even take a nice nap on account of these terrible itches. Every single crawfish is sick here. This is a major medical emergency. Peso to Captain Barnacles. This is Barnacles. We've got a whole village of crawfish here with itchy spots on their shells. I think you'd better... Sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, a whole village of crawfish has come down with a case of strange, itchy spots. Captain, we've got to cure the crawfish and keep them from spreading the spots to other parts of the swamp. Ah, sounds like an all-hands-on-deck situation. Yes, indeed. Every octonaut and vegemal is needed. To the swamp! <laughs> all right, everyone. We'll need to split into three teams. Peso, Shellington and Inkling. You set up a medical tent to treat the sick crawfish. Dashy and Tweak, you and the vegetables make sure nobody enters or leaves the village. This'll keep the sickness from spreading. Quasi, you and I will search the swamp to find the mystery creature who made everyone sick in the first place. Octonauts, let's do this. All right, Vegemals. Our job is to keep the sickness from spreading if we can. Just hang on to this rope, stay put, and don't let anyone get past it. Got it? Oh, but... Super, super! We need to try and find a cure for the shell rot, and quickly. The poor crawfish are really itchy. Oh, boy, that's the truth. You can poke around my shell all you want if it help you find a way to stop this itching. It appears that the shell rot is caused by a fungus, extremely fast-growing. No wonder it spreads so quickly. Excellent work. The shell rot is caused by a fungus. A fungus? There's a fungus among us? There's a fungus among us! There's a fungus! Nobody yes! Can see it, and we need to find a cure. Luckily, I have just the thing. Anti-fungus cream. <gasps> Something moving. Straight ahead, Captain. It's another crawfish with spots. Since he's out here, he mustn't be from the village. Meaning there's a good chance he's the outsider that spread the shell rot to the other crawfish. Uh, uh, excuse us. We need to talk to you. Please come out. We're here to help. Uh, uh, only help we need is with this itching. Uh, the missus got it, too. Let me guess. A stranger came through a few days back. Next thing you know, you all ended up with those itchy spots. Now, how do you know that? Well, the same thing happened to some other crawfish nearby. Can you tell us what the stranger looked like? He was big. You got swamp mud in your eye or something. He was tiny, but he did swim fast. Now, the missus here, she don't always get the facts right. The truth is, he swam slow. It was fast. Excuse me, is there anything that you both agree on about this stranger? Yeah, he was kind of furry. Would you agree, missus? Well, yeah. 
Maybe more like hairy than furry. At least what I saw of him, seeing as how he was swimming so fast. Um, right, yes, thank you. We'll be back to help as soon as we find a cure. <sighs> a lot of good that did us. Well, they both agreed he was hairy or furry. That gives us something to go on. I wonder how Peso's getting on with a cure. And now, some anti-fungus cream for you. Oh. Oh. So far, oh. it's so good. None of them seem to be itching anymore. Oh. 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 Uh, never mind. I don't know what else to try. The anti-fungus cream usually works. Ah. I wonder if the muddy water the crawfish swim in is part of the problem. Perhaps it would help to wash them with fresh, clean water. It's worth a try. Tweak, come in, Tweak. Can you spare a couple of the vegetables to run an errand? <laughs> sure can. Turnip, caddish. I just need them to go to the octopod and bring back some fresh water from the kitchen sink. You got it, Peso. Hear that? Fresh water. You got it. <laughs> Mystery critter up ahead, Captain. And he's a furry one. Bet it's that scallywag we're looking for. Let's find out. Wait! Now hold it right there, matey! Yeah. Easy now. We're looking for a creature who's been spreading shell rot around the swamp. Someone furry, like you. Spreading shell rot? <laughs> I'm a nutria. I don't even have a shell. And he doesn't have any spots either. I, but yeah. <laughs> something's tickling me feet. Hey, hey yourself. Look, he's getting away. Stop you! Did you see the crab shell, Captain? Covered with spots, and her claws were furry looking. She must be the one we've been looking for. Uh-oh. Looks like she's heading back towards the crawfish village. Why? She's already given everyone their shell rot. Something tells me she has no idea where she's heading. I think she's lost. Well done, you two. Fresh water straight from the octopod sink. Now let's see if the fresh water has any effect on the shell rot spots. <laughs> yeah! <coughs> this here water salty. Mm. Indeed. Wait. It spilled, <laughs> and you refilled it with water from the launch bay pool. <laughs> but that's ocean salt water, not fresh water. I'm so sorry. I know you crawfish only live in fresh water, never salt water. Ooh, your spots. They're looking better. And I don't hardly feel none of that itchiness no more. Jump, jellyfish. The salt water dip seems to be the cure we've been seeking for the shell rot fungus. It's going away! Super Carlos! <laughs> Dashy, Tweak, round up every crawfish villager you can find and bring them here for treatment. <laughs> Captain, we found a cure for the crawfish. Wonderful! But Peso, there's a strange crab heading your way. We think she's the creature that caused the shell rot to begin with. Oh no. She could make everybody sick all over again. We have to catch her and cure her, too. We're working on it. Wait, there she is, Captain. Uh, I can't take it, I tell you. Oh, I can't take this itching. Easy now. We're here to help. Well, how about that? A Chinese mitten crab. She's not from the swamp at all. She's what we call an invasive species, Captain. She doesn't belong here. It's true. I'm a long way from home. Poor thing. She must have picked up the shell rot in her travels and spread it to the crawfish when she passed through. I didn't mean to. You think I like having this? Oh, I just want to get rid of this itch and find my way home. I think we can help on both counts. Ooh, boy. Thank you, folks, for curing us of all them itches. Oh, me too. Feels so good to be rid of that itch. There's no more fungus among us. 
Actually, there's still a little fungus among us. Two last patients for you, Peso. Yeah, the, the missus can go first. She's got the most spots. I've got the most spots. You've got the most yeah, spots. I think you got the most spots. Now, well, that's where you're